Good afternoon, Paquanic, and thank you to the residents who taught me how to say the name correctly because I thought it was Pequanic or, you know, but it's, we want to take pride in our name, so Pequanic. Um, congratulations to you all for pulling off your first ever Pride Festival. I've heard from speaking to some individuals that there were some bumps in the road, so your resilience is admirable. So my name is Brielle Winslow Majette, and I am the Deputy Director at Garden State Equality. We are the largest LGBTQ organization in the state of New Jersey. And I'm so happy to be here with you all to celebrate who we are as a community and to take pride in ourselves. When I knew that I was going to come up here and speak, I had no idea what I was gonna talk about. Number one, because there's so many things going on in the world that we can address right now. But number two, because I wanted the message to resonate with everybody who was here. So with the recent attacks in Texas and legislative acts on attacks on LGBTQ communities around the world, I think it's really important to highlight the future. And that is our LGBTQ youth. I want to start by sharing an Instagram DM that I received the other day that came from a black lesbian in her 20s. She said, hey, I just wanna thank you. At a time of uncertainty and fear, you just reminded me that it's okay to be different and to stand out. I'm going to remember this inspiration to just be myself and not be afraid of what people may not understand. So thank you. I thought it was important to highlight this because years ago, when we achieved marriage equality, the world thought that the fight was over for us. But with that post, you see, in this moment of uncertainty, these moments of hardship and, and trying times, that it's important for us to show up, not just for the LGBTQ community, but for the LGBTQ youth. When I was growing up, just like most of you guys, you probably didn't have any representation or LGBTQ individuals to relate to. And if I'm being honest, that can be both lonely and isolating and not allowing for you to feel like you are seen, heard, or making you feel like you belong. I want you to know, did you know that there is a staggering 45% of LGBTQ youth who thought about committing suicide in the last year? That number is astronomical. But what you guys can do is by accepting one of those individuals, whether you're a teacher, a parent, a grandparent, a coach, that staggering 45% lessens to 4%. So that is amazing. Another fact is most youth in high school, their common stressor is homework. The common stressor for an LGBTQ high schooler is whether they're gonna be accepted by their peers or by their parents. And you can imagine what that could do to them getting good grades or performing in, on a team or wanting to come to school. So that is why the inclusive curriculum is so important. It gives the child the opportunity to see themselves fitting into the world that so often shuts them out. But it also teaches that a child's best friend can know that their friend belongs here and that they're accepted. An inclusive curriculum allows for people to learn how to be in an open and safe space and for others to disclose the truths in place that tells you that you never need to hide again. So with that, at Garden State Equality, we are committed to being champions for the voices that are so often silenced. We will continue to tirelessly advocate for protections under the law, inclusion in the classroom, in the workspace, and in the world. I was sitting on a panel two weeks ago and a 14-year-old said that it costs nothing to acknowledge LGBTQ people but it costs lives to act as if LGBTQ communities don't exist. So you have already taken the first step by coming here and joining us at Pride. But what you can do is number one, tell your Board of Education that the inclusive curriculum matters and that it should exist. But the other thing that you can do is, number one, be understanding, number two, be educated, number three, be accepted, and number four, live your life and make all of your interactions be with love. So thank you so much and happy Pride.